Welcome to Geek My Ride. Hello, I am Kevron, and uh, I am one of the uh, lead designers and developers of the Open Ice project. Um, I'm here today um, installing Linux Ice and the Open Ice system on some hardware, and I thought it'd be good to kind of make a video and do a guide on how this is done. Here is uh, my hardware. It's just a, a, a VIA EPA board. It's about 1 gigahertz and it's got 512 uh, megabytes of RAM. Um, I've got it, I'm in the house, so I've got it hooked up to a normal, you know, big old CRT monitor. And uh, here is the initial screen of the uh, Linux ICE operating system. Um, we are going to go through um, an installation process. As you can see, there are um, about five categories you can click on. Some of them are just links that uh, open up programs such as GPS and the internet. Um, for now, we will go to apps and we will go to setup and we will uh, start the installation process. Click on the install link. Start loading the installation program. Now we've booted it off of a live CD, um, so things are a little bit slow. We'll wait for that to load. Um, we've got it loaded up right now, the installation program, and as you can see, it looks very similar to Ubuntu's installation program. Over here we can select a number of different languages um, to install as the default language. We're just going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, English, of course, for now. Uh, we'll select our location um, anywhere in the world pretty much, and it'll set your correct time zone to what it should be. We're in the mountain time zone here in Utah, so we'll go from there. Select different types of keyboard layouts. We're just going to be US English. Now it's going to load the disk partitioner. Now what's neat about this is you can partition your disk however you want to. It's fairly simple. You can even um, set up a dual operating system, um, a dual boot system. Uh, we're just going to use the entire disk, um, this option, and it's going to automatically partition and format the entire disk uh, for our use. This top one, um, the guided resize will resize our current operating system's partition and allow us to do a dual boot type system. We don't need to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and click next. Okay, it's going to go through a migration and document settings. We don't need to do that. We don't have an operating system that we need to import anything from. So we'll click next. Uh, we'll set up some credentials right here. Our, our login, the uh, security password, the name of the computer, etc. I'll just do that real quickly. Okay, the next screen is the ready to install screen and we're just gonna go dive right in alright it's gonna go through the installation process that was pretty easy um, as you can see uh, it didn't take too long to, to actually do your part of the setup which is enter all the information that it needs it's gonna go ahead and um, copy all the files over and install them as needed uh, while that's going, um, as you can see, there's a panel here at the bottom of the screen that's persistent across every 
um, screen that you're using. So right now we're in the installation program. We still have access to our music. We can pause and uh, skip and and uh, we have links to do switch back to you know the desktop or uh, you know multitasking kind of operations here and the panel allows you to do that regardless of the screen you're on. It also has a built-in on-screen keyboard. So this is pretty neat. Uh, when you activate it, it actually resizes the screen um, to accommodate the, the on-screen keyboard. You can use this with any application. It's really nice. I'll make that disappear. And uh, we'll pause for a second here and we'll come back when the installation is complete. Alright, we're done installing and uh, it's asking us to restart. So we're going to do that and we'll be back in a few minutes.